morning, morning, morning. Just going to share with you the finished bag. It's been a while coming to uh, the finish. Thank goodness it's finished. Dead. It's, um, it's the 100th anniversary jacket that I've cut up. Morning Bonnie, I've cut up. And it's very symmetrical how I've done it because I wanted to save all the features of the original jacket. Kept the piping along the zip. I've got old BMW seat belting on the reverse of the handles. And then obviously the Harley Davidson on the other side. Bit of shape into the sides. Um, if you can see in that light. So I've got two usable pockets, one either end, the old Harley zips all over the bag. Um, these pockets go right underneath. So the pockets are in the base here. Thanks, Annette. Now, just to show you how big it is, I'm just going to show you, if I can just pop the phone on here. <clears throat> without turning my volume down. I'm just gonna see if I can show you how much I've got inside, just so you can see the size of it, really. Let me just switch the, the Harleys around the wrong way. Bear with me a second. There we go. Okay, so inside, let's just adjust you slightly. I've got, it's much smaller than the Danies one that I've made fairly recently that I did share with everybody. But inside this one, it's, this one is 16 by 11. It's still massive in that I've got one leather jacket pair of leather trousers and a huge grey full length sheepskin coat and inside we've got the old original uh, lining of the jacket so we've got a loose thread there which I'll have to snip off I've got the pocket from the chest there then on the opposite side I've just added the other secret pocket that was on the edge of the jacket and the other Harley um, badge there which is a phone pocket so that's all utilised ev absolutely every square inch of the jacket lining. I don't normally like to use the lining of jackets because the satiny fabrics as you well know Bonnie are have a little um, mind of their own once you cut into them. So, um, but it was the customer's choice to have the lining, which I totally agree now because of all the um, Harley stuff that was all over the lining. It worked brilliantly. But there's been one little downside of making this bag, nothing to do with the bag. And nothing to do with the way I've done it, but I managed during the making of it to break 17 needles for my um, old machine. I broke 17 needles. <laughs> and the little guy that gets my needles is retiring soon, and I've been asking him to bring me some. Um, machine needles home for a few weeks now so I'm hoping that he's going to bring me some so I'm going to be completely out of work but um, hope you liked it it's going to be um, going across to its new owner at uh, some point today let's see if I can get that in there yeah it's better if I just turn my to control my phone but that is going off to its rightful owner 
at some point today I'm going to parcel it all up. It's all complete. I've just got to cut that one little thread off. And that, yeah, job done. So um, super, super pleased. On to the next one now. I'm um, cutting up today um, a big, excuse my messy kitchen. I'm cutting up a big full size um, trouser suit. I don't know what they're called. The full leathers trousers and um, making an unusual type holdall that's going to incorporate the knee pads as pull along uh, corners on the bag, which is exciting. I've got to do a whole new pattern for that one. Um, and it's going to be for his helmet and his jacket. So that's all in the pipeline. That's the next one. But I'm off charity shopping today. So I will bid you a lovely day. Do come across to Ali Ashton and hop on my newsletter and go across to Ali Bond also for other blog posts about other creations. Have a great day. Bye.